I'm Alex and today we're going to run you through iTunes Radio, which is Apple's own music streaming service, kind of like Spotify Radio or Pandora, and you can get it on iPad, iPhone, Mac or PC, but today we're going to be running through the iPhone version. Now it's a free service, but it does have ads, but the good news is those ads only last about 3 to 15 seconds and they only crop up about once in every three tracks on average. You can also sign up to become an iTunes Match subscriber and then you get it ad free. Getting access on an iPhone or iPad is easy. Just launch the music app and there should be a radio tab down the bottom. If there isn't, you'll need to update the app and then it'll just be there. iTunes Radio isn't like regular iTunes. You can't build your own playlists or even listen to specific albums or artists. Instead, your selection of album, artist or song creates a radio station built around similar music. So a Led Zeppelin radio station might feature also Cream and Jimi Hendrix, for example. You can skip and pause songs, but you can't go back and you can't select a specific song unless you want to build a new station around it. The stations you create are saved in your My Station section. There are also a few stock standard options like Hot Today and 80s Hits across the top if you want to flick through those. If you tap the information button at the top of the now playing screen, you can adjust the station by hits, discovery or variety. This allows you to focus on more famous songs and artists or less well-known options. Like other streaming services, the more you use radio, the more it learns what you like. So over time, it becomes more accurate with what it picks for you. Tap the star icon when you're in Now Playing and you'll be presented with three options. Play more like this, never play this song, and add this to iTunes wish list, all of which are pretty self-explanatory. Alternatively, you can just skip the track. There you are, that's iTunes Radio. It's great if you want that sort of random radio feel but still want a little bit of control, but just be careful. If you're using any streaming service on an iPhone or tablet, you have to keep your data cap in mind. You can use up a lot of a 3G or a 4G cap if you just go absolutely crazy when streaming any kind of content. But if you pay attention for the first month or so of using it, actually take a look at your usage, then you'll get used to it pretty quickly.